This is Twit. Uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, the Raspberry Crew, of course, revealed a new Raspberry Pi model, or, or, you know, not always, but we like to see a new Raspberry Pi model in Pi Day. Um, they came out with the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+, Plus, which uh, includes an updated Broadcom chip running 1.4 gigahertz, and is now uh, finally brought gigabit Ethernet. Now, the gigabit Ethernet is running over uh, USB 2.0 still, so it's still sharing the US, uh, USB 2.0 path. But the upside of this is that you can now uh, get something like three times the performance over Ethernet. Uh, for me, I was looking at like uh, 55 megabits max coming out of a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, and up to 150 megabits uh, in some of the network testing I was doing on a Raspberry Pi 3 model B+. Plus. Uh, 11AC wireless is now in there along with B and G and N. Um, 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Um, it'll support power over Ethernet. You can see the video right now uh, with a aftermarket or a secondary a, a Pi hat you can buy from them. Um, and it's about, I want to call it about 16% faster. I just did some very simple uh uh, you know, threaded benchmarking on it. And uh, we're looking about 16% faster than the Raspberry Pi Model 3. Um, again, the, the networking is considerably faster. It's much more sensitive to power than some of the previous models. So, the, you know, the, the standard Raspberry Pi power unit is now uh, a 2.5 amp, 5-volt uh, uh, power supply. One of the older uh, uh, iPad power supplies I've been using were at Raspberry Pis for a very long time, an Apple unit, because uh, the power from those is pretty clean, um, would actually uh, die. Um, it would, you know, it draw too much power and it would black out. So switching to a, a more powerful uh, two and a half uh, amp power supply solved that. Um, you know, it's a nice update. There's a little heat sink for the first time on the processor. There's a really nice uh, antenna seemed to work really well. The wireless performance was excellent. Uh, stability was great. And I can't actually wait to start playing around with some of my favorite dedicated distros like the Lumio to see what the performance feels like with remote accessing and stuff. I'll also be curious to run Plex on that. It's a nice yeah. piece of hardware, kids. Looks cool. Yeah, I'm actually, the thing I wanted to do, we didn't get a chance to do, was to actually look at real-time power information, because uh, I didn't have a, I have a USB power meter, but I did not have the USB to micro USB adapter I needed to take a look at that, but I'll, I'll try to get some information on that. Um, but uh, it was a good Pi Day. It's a good update. Oh. I get excited about these things, because I love single-board computers. <laughs> 